Hey everyone, it's Warren from Datatail. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use parameters to ask those what if questions. What if my revenue drops by 35%? What if my revenue dropped by 20%? You can see as I'm using the slider, this chart is responsive. Really great way to engage your audience, getting them to ask the questions about what if. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon. New parameter. Um, and this is where you can ask what if of the data. So what if I applied a discount of 10%, how would that affect my revenue? Um, and we could ask that, you know, what if, what if maybe 5%, what if 2%? Um, and we can give the end user the ability to ask that question and move a slider and see what the result for that is. It's a really powerful way to get engagement from your end users because they can actually ask the question with new parameter. So let's just create a new page by clicking on the, the yellow plus down in here. And I just want you to click on new parameter. So the box will pop up, what if parameter. And we want to call ours discount. And we don't want a whole number. What we want to do is pick a decimal number. So it's going to be between zero and the maximum will be 0 0.5. And we want to increment it at 0 0.05s. Uh, we can just leave the default blank. And I'm going to leave ticked add slicer to this page. So I'm going to click on OK. And what we have here is a discount with a slicer. So if I move that slicer, it's going up as I, as I defined it as 0 0.05. So that's our discount. Move that up there. Now what that has done has created a new table. Um, here is the, the syntax. So discount, and this is a function. So starting at zero, going to 0 0.5, and that's the intervals. And I think we can see it here. If we look it up, if you just want to see what it looks at like as a table, essentially that's all it is. And we're moving the slicer to pick one of these options in the table. So go back there. Um, so we can actually pick that measure there. And you can see as I move the slicer, this will update. So 0 0.15, 0 0.2, up to a 0 0.05. So it's interactive and responsive. And now we can use this within DAX to create a calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the sales table and I'm just going to right click and I want a new measure. Now this one will be called revenue after discount. And what we can do is take the, the sum of sales revenue so we'll take the sum of sales revenue and from that we will minus this discount. And so we can work that out again by being the, so I just did an open brackets there. So I opened the brackets um, because I want to do sum of sales revenue times discount. So sum open bracket sales revenue. Close that off. Times. Now I want this discount, discount value measure. And we can close that off. 
click on commit. So I'll just explain that again. So this is the name of a measure, revenue after discount. We're calling a function, which is just going to sum up sales revenue. Then what I want to take from this total, I want to minus, I'm going to open a bracket and there's your close brackets there. I want to take that total, which is here, but I want to times it by the discount value. So currently this is sitting at 0.2. So the total revenue times 0.2, take that away from revenue. Let's put this in a chart and see what it looks like. So I've got a 20% discount. Let's make a clustered column chart. Let's move it up into this blank space here. Going to open calendar table and drop a year in. And what are we going to get is the revenue and the new measure that we just created, which was revenue after the discount. So the 20% discount applied here. So as you can see, we've got a 20% discount. So here's our revenue at 17 million. And this is what we would have received as revenue with that discount. So you can see this discount is 13.9 million. If I reduce that to 10%, you can see the blue, the difference is reduced between the light blue and the blue. And now it's 15 million. So this is a really great way for end users to engage with the data by actually inputting a value and then getting a result.